Hi there, Joe Crawford, chatbot copywriter and dialogue designer here. Today, I'm going to be taking you through how to call back responses in a bot built on the Snatchbot platform. Now, there are a number of reasons you may want your bot to be able to call back a prior response. For example, if you are doing something retail or sales related, you'd likely want to be able to track and recall the orders that the customer has placed before confirming. Or if you have some sort of gaming chat bot, you'll want to be able to recall how they answered questions in the past. In this case, we're going to be looking at using input recalls within the Joe's Gym bot to schedule an appointment for personal training. So to get started, we'll select the Joe bot settings and the very first thing I did was to right off the start create a book appointment quick reply that would take me to the book appointment flow of interactions so in this case there are three interactions that are necessary in order for us to uh, make this interaction work how we'd like it to the very first one, which the user is led to after clicking book appointment, prompts them to answer, which day would you like to make an appointment for? In this case, because it's open-ended, I've set it within the connections so it doesn't need a specific response. Simply use the fallback to lead it to the next interaction you'd like it to use. In this case, appointment two. So this is where we'd first like to call back a message. So the way we're going to do this is the prior responses box just above the bot messages box. We'll use response text. And this has two parts. First is the response to interaction ID. From there, what we're going to want to do is tell Snatchbot which particular interaction response we want. Now it could look difficult, but actually it's quite easy. We'll erase ID, and over on the right hand side, we'll go over to interactions. And this creates a menu that drops down all the different interactions that you've created within this chatbot. In this case, we want the response to the interaction appointment one. So we'll add that in, and that 43189 is what tells Snatchbot to go back and look for the response to appointment one. The next is fallback. So this is what we put in place in case somehow the user gets to this point and enters something invalid or that is not meant to actually be in at this spot. So in this case, we'll put something simple. Sorry, I don't understand. Let's start over. Now that start over, command will automatically send them back to the beginning of the bot where they can try again. So we'll say this will pull in the day that I say, and then the sentence it is. And then we'll ask the next question, which is any particular time. Once again, to connect it to the next part of the flow, we want to go down to fallback and select appointment three, which is the third and final interaction in this step. So in this case, I've had once again, starting off with that response to the interaction. So it would be day at, and this second response to interaction pulls in the time that they just entered in appointment two and a little bit of text to confirm afterwards. Now I don't have to set any other connections unless you want to take them somewhere specific afterwards. So with this in place, let's test it and see how it actually works. Fire up it, and we'll select book appointment. It will ask me, which day would you like to make an appointment for? I'll say Monday. Monday it is, and there it is recalling the day that I just entered. Any particular time, 9 a.m. Monday at 9 a.m. has been requested. So there it's calling in both of my previous responses. We will reach out with a confirmation shortly.
So that's it. It's extremely easy using a couple interactions and the drop down menus that are right there to be able to constantly recall the user inputs, regardless of where they are in your chatbot. That's all for now. If you have any questions, feel free to work to, to reach out. And I look forward to seeing you at our next video.